Good morning, Hoosiers, and welcome to Paper News 24-7. Brought to you by the Paper of Montgomery County Online in living color from the Paper's control room in downtown Crawfordsville. I'm Stu Clampett with your top headlines for Friday, May 20th, 2011. Today's news is brought to you in part by the National Guard. There's a moment you reach deep inside yourself. You find the courage to fight through the elements, and you find the strength to save a life. These are the kinds of moments you'll experience in the National Guard. If you've got it inside you, this is your time to act. Visit the Guard online at nationalguard.com or call 1-800-GO-GUARD. In our top story today, an investigation into the shooting of Christopher A. Rice, 41 years old, from Frankfurt, that had occurred in Montgomery County on February 19, 2011, has culminated finally in an arrest. On Tuesday, a warrant was issued for the arrest of Mark Smith, 50 years old, who resides at 7771 East County Road 650 North near Darlington. The shooting was a result of a confrontation between Rice and Smith. Rice eventually recovered from his life-threatening injuries and released from an Indianapolis hospital several days after the shooting. Smith turned himself in to the police and surrendered peacefully today and is being held in the Montgomery County Jail on a $150,000 bond. We'll be back with more local news right after this. I'm Kim Van Matry from the Paper Montgomery County. I'm looking for the best salespeople out there. The economy is tough, the gas is high, and this job can pay for all that. It's a hard job, it's only for the best, and it can be rewarding as hell if you're good at it. I want someone who's energetic, who likes working with people, who likes to work, and has a great personality. I'm offering great benefits. Insurance, a base salary, great commission, gas allotment, and much more. Call or email me if you have what it takes. Paper trivia. It's your chance to win prizes by showing off how much you know. If you've got all the answers, click on this tile on our homepage and go to the paper trivia section. If you answer the question correctly, you could be our next winner. Lance Waldrop is a college student who volunteered to help and Nucor teammate Jeanne Rush manned Nucor's Alabama Relief Mission table at Walmart on Friday. Donations are being collected by Nucor to help people in Alabama whose property was taken by tornadoes about a month ago. Donations will be received at Walmart today from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. And they'll be at Kroger on U.S. 231 South from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. on Saturday and Sunday. Do you realize the 2011 Strawberry Festival is coming? Well, it's coming soon. It's June 10th through the 12th. The Arch and Crafts section of the Strawberry Festival is located on the south lawn of the Lane Place, and this year there will be 90 booth spaces available to rent for the three-day festival. If you're interested in booth space for this year's festival, check availability by calling Patty Perkins at 765-361-9429. Bill Pattison will teach the Art of Illusion, an oil painting class from 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. on Saturday at the Crawfordsville District Public Library. You can call 362-1348 for more information. The cost of that class will be $75. And you can waltz through Ladoga and benefit the Linden Depot Museum at the same time. Waltzing through Ladoga is a formal gourmet dinner and ballroom dance with a silent auction to be held on June 25th. It will take place from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. at the historic Ladoga Old Normal Hall at the corner of Harrison and Main Streets in Ladoga. Tickets cost $35 per person. You can call 765-427-3630 for more information. By the way, have you been invited to a rapture party? Well, tell us about it next week. You see, all across the U.S. people are having rapture parties because the world is supposed to end on Saturday. So next week, send an email to Frank Phillips, fphillips at the paper 24-7.com and tell all the readers about your rapture party. And if the world does end on Saturday, don't bother to email Frank. And speaking of Frank, his guest this week on Frankly Speaking is Heather Perkins, City Council Ward 1. Frankly speaking, can be found under webcast on the top navigation bar of our website, where you can also find several of Montgomery County Historical Society's videos. You can also click on this tile on our homepage to watch this week's episode of Frankly Speaking. Today's news is brought to you in part by the Indiana Poison Center. Children act fast, so do poisons. Call the Indiana Poison Center at 1-800-222-1222 for poison prevention tips and treatment advice provided free 24 hours a day. Stay tuned for local weather with Paul Poteet and local sports with Candace Warman because they're both up next. 
bad wrecks happen to good people. That's why people take their wrecks to the good people at Goulds Body and Paint in Crawfordsville. Goulds will work with your insurance company to provide an accurate quote of your needed repairs. Then the iCar Gold Class Specialists take over, restoring your vehicle to good as new. Goulds will service any make, any model, any type, or amount of damage. Just remember our motto, at Goulds Body and Paint, our business is a wreck. It's Friday. It's Fast Friday at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. I hope your day doesn't go by too fast. I want you to sit and enjoy this beautiful Friday across central Indiana. And Montgomery County weather from Paper News 24-7 is sponsored by Gould Body and Paint 607 Wayne Town Road in Crawfordsville. Diane and Don standing by for your telephone call at 364-1067. It's Gould Body and Paint where their business is a wreck beautiful conditions today after some fog at first on Friday and actually it's one of those cases where the fog really uh, sort of reflects the fact that we've got clear skies above the layer of clouds at the surface clear sky light wind all things that'll be great you know once the fog uh, burns off and so that's the story for today let's look at some of the numbers expected around the area today we'll get the parade of maps ready to roll here and look at those uh, readings for you about 81 for our high in Crawfordsville and we do expect to uh, see about 80 degrees in Muncie, 82 Lafayette, 83 down in Bloomington. And sky should be anywhere from partly to uh, mostly sunny. So partly cloudy would be as pessimistic as I want to get for today. Tonight's lows will be down around the 60 degree mark. So we definitely are back into warmer air now. You can uh, throw away the, uh, the, the long sleeves for a while and uh, dress like it's late spring, which it is. Next few days are going to bring us a shower and thunderstorm chances, though. That's the only bad thing. The difference between the weekend forecast today and what I told you on Thursday is the chance of showers and storms has increased for Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening. So I mentioned Fast Friday earlier at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Well, that means tomorrow's poll day, and the qualifications may have to deal with some storms. That's a scenario that's as old as, um, as the racetrack. Highs will be warm, though, into the upper 70s to mid-80s throughout central Indiana. In Indianapolis itself, I think highs of about 81 on Saturday and 84 on Sunday. Uh, we do uh, want to caution you to uh, pay attention. Uh, check the radar at pulpotite.com. If you follow me online, Facebook, or Twitter, you get warnings when the weather gets bad. And that's a possibility for Saturday afternoon and again on Sunday afternoon that any of the thunderstorms could reach severe levels. So uh, there could be some gusty winds, hail, dangerous lightning, heavy rainfall, obviously, from any of those storms this weekend. I think Saturday morning is okay. I think Sunday morning is probably going to be okay, too. But in the afternoon and evening, along with the heat and the humidity, you'll have to watch for some storms. In fact, we'll put up the extended forecast for you right now via pulpoteat.com, and you'll see for yourself just about oh, every day on that thing has a few thunderstorm icons on it. Now, those chances will be mainly in the afternoon and evening, Saturday and Sunday. Then chances continue on Monday and Tuesday. There are some indications that we could have a round of storms uh, next Wednesday that's uh, pretty rough. And then that would lead to cooler conditions by about Thursday of next week. Until then, the highs will be up around 80 degrees every day, 81 today, around 60 tonight, 81 on Saturday, and then 85 on Sunday, but do watch the storm chances. They look to be strongest Saturday afternoon and Saturday night, and enjoy today. The average high around here for today would be 75 degrees, and again, we're going up to 81, and you've got plenty of time to enjoy the sun until it sets just before 9 o'clock tonight. I hope you have a great weekend. Again, online, pulpoteat.com for weekend updates and the latest Montgomery County weather every weekday right here from Paper News 24-7. At Zahn's Floor Covering, we don't offer washers, paint, or lumber. Floor covering is our expertise for your home or office. At Zahn's Floor Covering, we offer luxurious styles of carpeting and realistic-looking vinyl patterns, and we do it better than anyone else. You'll fall in love with the possibilities at Zahn's, all backed by professional installation, superior personal service, and our three-year installation warranty. Stop by Zahn's today and see why we want to be everywhere you are.
I'm Tana Storm with your local sports for Friday. Two more Montgomery County track and field athletes clinched their way to regional on Thursday night. Southmont's Jake Richardson and Jonathan Christensen both qualified for the regional. Christensen won the high jump, while Jake Richardson finished fourth in the long jump. The regional will be held next Tuesday at Lafayette Jeff High School. The North Montgomery Lady Chargers and the Carpers of Lady Athenians will face off tonight in the Tennis Sectional Championship. The championship will start at 4.30 at Crawfordsville High School. Don't forget to follow Montgomery County Sports at The Paper Sports on Twitter. That's your local news for Friday. For more information on these and other stories, visit our homepage or pick up a print copy of the paper in Montgomery County. For Paper News 24-7, I'm Candace Roman. You stay classy, Crawfordsville. Thank you.